Well, ahoy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So uh, today we're going to talk about some legislation that I was unaware of. I had been keeping up with events overseas and hadn't really been following my legislative tracker as much as I should. Um, in the House, the bill is uh, 6869. It's a Republican-sponsored bill, and it allows President Biden to issue letters of mark and reprisal. Yeah. Um, if you don't know what those are, don't feel bad, because uh, they haven't been used in quite some time. These are the uh, documents that Captain Jack Sparrow wanted. They are... Their authorization from a state for private citizens to act as privateers, pirates with legal backing. The bill is uh, designed to allow Biden to issue letters of mark to go after Russian oligarchs, go after their yachts, their aircraft, their belongings that exist outside of the territorial confines of the United States. Uh, there are obvious questions. Uh, is this constitutional? Surprisingly, yeah. Uh, Article 1, Section 8, Clause 11 of the U.S. Constitution does, in fact, <laughs> uh, provide a mechanism to issue letters of mark. Um, that's wild. Um, I think it might actually be uh, effective in a really bizarre way. Mainly, the, the first time somebody does it, once, once these are issued, uh, the first time somebody does it under, under that letter, um, oligarchs will pull all of their assets out of foreign countries. Uh, they will. Those that are sanctioned will remove their assets. They will find some way to get them back home where they are safe or get them to a country that, that wouldn't allow it. Um, I know it is an incredibly bizarre move, but it's not as wild as it sounds. This was standing policy for a really long time for a lot of countries. Um, in the age of private contractors, this seems like the next logical step. Given Russia's use of Wagner in Ukraine, I don't think they really have a lot of room to complain. Uh, yeah, so keep track of this bill, especially if you ever thought that a pirate's life was for you. Um, because, yeah, it exists. I, I thought it was a joke when I first saw it, but looked at it. And yes, it's there. Yes, there's a constitutional mechanism for it. Uh, I, I honestly don't know what to, uh, what to say beyond... It would be a very unorthodox method of limiting the ability of, of, of oligarchs to, uh, to operate. Um, it might be a really good idea to amend this to include the ability to go after financial assets in, say, I don't know, cryptocurrency as well. The, that, that might be a really good idea. That might be incredibly effective. Um, anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.